finding creativity that can be quite difficult. They talk about writer's block. Well, there, are, there are a myriad of things that you can do to spark an interest in some creativity. There are sort of three pillars of composition. Uh, that of rhythm, melody and harmony. And really you can start with one of them and see where it takes you. For instance, melody. Um, if you have pupils in it, it's very simple to take a word and extract the musical letters from it, from A to G and use that as a basis to start a theme. For example, Trinity College London, we've, we've got the letters in there, uh, C, E, G, E, D. Just taking them in that order. You've got a theme that you can manipulate. So rather than doing them just in that one order, You can move the octaves of the pitches around, for instance, moving the E so it's higher up. And that might form a melody or it might, might form a bass line. It hasn't got to be just used in one way though, you could take that same theme and overlap the same notes over the top maybe slower. So the C, E, G, E, D. Put the two together. That gives you just one theme, a building block which you can then extend into a bigger phrase. Following on from the first example, we could try another theme based on the same notes. Very much like the original. This time, we're going to try just putting a chord underneath. That's quite static. The movement hasn't got much flow to it. So another thing that you can use is splitting the chord up, say arpeggiation, like the scales and arpeggios that you do, to create a little bit more movement. like variations on the theme. Take a small idea and then see where you can go with the idea. Another way of sparking creativity and coming up with a theme is to start with rhythm rather than melody. Between teacher and pupil, the teacher could come up with a two-bar rhythm, which the pupil has then got to write a two-bar rhythm to accompany it in a call and response fashion. So the teacher might, for instance, play And the pupil, in return, that gives you a nice solid rhythm with which to build on. The next step would be to take that rhythm and put a melody to it. So changing it from one note to several. This could either be done as improvised, which is a good way because then you're not sure what's going to come out, or it could be pre-planned where you write the rhythm down and then plan each note that it's going to go in and test it out. For example, the teacher might play and the pupil this links into the options that are available in the performance exams. There are many ways to say certain words and that's, that could inspire creativity for pupils themselves. So Trinity College London First as a rhythm, and then converted to a melody, and that's one phrase that you can use as building blocks to expand into a larger composition.